ICTV's 47 North, the show that brings you live and local music just like a well-cooked TV dinner. And that's true. That's what we are here to do. I am Kim Nagler. This is my friend Joe Y. Voda. And we um, are from a local band in the area named Hobo Revival. And so we are kind of the first um, test, if you if you will, kind of test monkeys. Would you yeah, say we're for, the we're the pilot? We're episode. the pilot. We're yeah. the pilot of the yeah of the show, and so we're so excited to be here and thrilled to be here. Um, we are going to share just some of our songs that we play. The whole um, pre premise of the show is that we're going to bring you once a month a um, different individual, different artist in, from the area, from the 47th North Latitude area that um, it writes their own music and performs their own music. So they're going to be people that are your neighbors, people that are in your own backyard, people that maybe you are um, running to at the gas station, what have you. We're going to bring them to you right here live and local on 47 North, the music show. Um, awesome. We're gonna, what do you think, Joe? This is pretty exciting. I think it's really cool. I, I mean, the, people don't realize how many uh, 
musicians there are up here and how many local musicians there are that, that do a lot of original stuff. So yeah. this is pretty fun. It's going to be um, maybe an eye opener for some people. I would think. And hopefully not an eye closer. We don't want anyone <laughs> falling asleep during the show. So we're going to try to keep it, keep it rocking. So Joe and I have had the pleasure of playing um, a different... Uh, venues in this whole area and the whole 47th latitude <laughs> and um, we're going to just share with you a couple of our new songs our older songs rather from our first cd um, entitled hobo revival that we recorded at sparta sound up in sparta so we're going to do a couple songs that are off that first cd um, one right now entitled Drugstore Roses we're going to do for you. And people can listen to these on YouTube or iTunes or wherever they want, but yep. most importantly right here on Community ICTV. Most important right here on ICTV. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh
All right, so that's a newer song. That song called When I Go. That's going to mm -hmm. be on our new CD right now that we are making called Laundry Songs because I wrote all the songs during laundry. True. <laughs> Hanging laundry, folding laundry, putting laundry in the wash machine. So henceforth, it is called Laundry Songs. Joe, tell me a little bit about your bass. That, that's that got to be something that you have for a long time. Can you tell me a little Actually, bit about that, where you got that, how you got it? Yeah, so... Um, I've been a bass player my whole life, pretty much, and mostly a bass guitar player. But um, this is an upright bass, member of the violin family, of course. And um, this one was made in Connecticut by a, a company called Upton Bass. And I had, um, had it made probably 10 years ago, I think, maybe a little less than that. Um, and I had another bass that was from the 70s. It was a, a different brand. And... You don't realize how big these are until you have two of them. So <laughs> when I had two of them in the house, I quickly had to sell one yeah. because it's either that or, or you know, find a new place. Build so a room for it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I do enjoy playing it. I'm more of a bass guitar mm -hmm. player, but I do enjoy playing it. And and I know we'll do a song with the bow later. I, I like playing with a bow and. Well, you, um, you grew up in a real musical family, too. That's another yeah. thing. You and I were, Joe and I talk often about how some people, they come to the um, area, the Northland, and greater northern Minnesota, the Northland area, and they think, they don't have music up here. They don't, you know, they, they probably don't. And that's so not true, especially for the generations that have gone past. Um, our heritage, bringing in... Um, gosh, the accordion, the, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. You grew up in a real musical family, and you had yeah. bluegrass jams like all the time. Tell us. I a remember bit when I was a little boy, I, I asked my dad every Friday night, um, "Who's coming over tonight?" And he'd say, "What are you talking about?" I said, "Well, every Friday, a bunch of people show up and play music, and um, people with guitars, violins, um, mandolins, accordions would all show up. Never once did a bass show up." Oh. And, I, and I said, well, as a you know, little eight, nine-year-old boy, I said, boy, there's got to be an opportunity for a bass player somewhere. Yeah. And um, it just so happened that my grandma had an upright bass in her upstairs bedroom. Wow. Yeah, it was dumb luck. Her, uh, <laughs> her daughter who lives in, uh, my aunt who lives in, in uh, Alaska, had played bass in a traveling band for a while. And so I fixed that bass up and started playing it. I started with bass guitar a little bit before that. but. Okay. Yeah, so kind of got got around that way. Very musical family. Everybody plays guitar in my band, in my family. Joe's um, brother-in-law, Vic, is also in our band, Hobo Revival. Yeah, we have a big full band with drums and, yeah, and, and um, silliness. Yeah. I should mention the other members, the silliness. Speaking of, <laughs> Joe Gibbon on guitar and my cousin Robert Clay's Matt is our drummer. And um, But Vic is Joe's brother-in-law, and he speaks often of these stories of just couldn't wait for the weekend yeah. because you would just have a plethora of people coming and jamming mm -hmm. and, and all night long. So what a great way to grow up too. I grew up around a campfire kind of similar, but we just had guitars. Mm -hmm. And um, not many, a couple harmonicas, you know, this and that, everyone would go around and take turns and have a good time. But um, I always tease that we have enough guitars, so now somebody has to, <laughs> somebody has to learn something else and now the nieces and nephews are all playing guitars. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting, man. I'm just waiting for that. I don't know. But the, the fiddle world needs player bass players. Or the bass yeah. player. The world really needs bass yeah, players. Yeah, that's many? true. That's true. So we're gonna um, go ahead and do uh, another song for you. Who, well, let me let me go back a second. Let me let me ask you who who are some of your favorite bass players that if you had to name top three favorite oh. bass players. I don't want to say it past <laughs> or present. You know, yeah. gone, go with us or gone. I mean, it's hard to do that. But yeah. you, you would give me your. I know that's, it's hard. That's a hard answer because, um, you know, Paul McCartney is one of my favorites. I, I love the way he's so melodic. Um, I'm a big Bootsy Collins fan. I like how funky his stuff is, mm -hmm. um, and and you know Stanley Clark, a jazz player. You know he's he's got so many things he's done. Jaco Pastorius. Mm -hmm. I, I like a, a lot of different types of music. Mm -hmm. You know everything. James Jameson, um, all those bass players that that most bass players talk about, right? And mm -hmm. maybe the, the one that most of them don't is Jimmy Johnson, which was a Minnesota bass player. Um, he played in a group called Flim the BBs. Now he's the bass player for um, uh, uh, that guy who does uh, songs. James Taylor. <laughs> James Taylor. He's James <laughs> yeah, Taylor's guy. bass player. Okay, that um, guy. Oh, yeah, that's he, cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, he he's, he's uh, smooth as butter. He's one of my favorite bass players. Well, that's player. super cool. Yeah. If I had to ask you... 
right now, just off the top of your head, who would your favorite local musician that might be a female <laughs> brunette that you know very well that writes music locally? Who would you say that one might be? If you had to just, just name someone. It'd probably have to be Kim Lee. <laughs> <Girl Omega. Yes. laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I knew if I narrowed the question down yeah. long enough, or you know, dwindled it down that he wouldn't have much of a choice to pick anybody else. I was trying to think of another I brunette like female like, oh, singer. Shoot on the right, yeah, over yeah. here that's yeah. playing original music. Um, I like to just kid around with Joe. Joe and I have known each other for I think we figured out you know almost thirty years. So mm -hmm. it's been a it's been a long time, and um, I'm honored to have him as not only a friend but a, a bandmate. So and his eclectic background c it kind of comes together with the songs because I'll bring a song to the band. And we'll do it, and then um, it'll it, they'll just have their kind of touch on it. And sometimes I sing it just how I hear hear how I write it, or sometimes it's sort of a collaboration mm -hmm. too. But you can tell by their their different um, uh, tastes and and the people that you bring to the influences you bring at the yeah. table that were kind of uh, variety. You you couldn't say we're just a country band or just a right. you know, rock band yeah. or something. So Americana. that kind of makes it. I don't even know who we are. I don't yeah. even know, we I don't are know how to describe it. I said soul folk. No, what do we say? Soul folk. We made up a word one time. Something, soul yeah. folk, <laughs> Americana. You know, whatever. It's just music, and that's the important part. We want this show to be influential to people as well. If you feel like you're like, I want to pick up that guitar. I'd like to get this. Do it. Just do it and putz. Putz with it. Don't fuzzutz, mm -hmm. but putz. Because fuzzutzing takes too long, but putzing is a lot easier. And you just, just go with it. Have fun. Doesn't matter how old you are. Doesn't matter how young you are. Doesn't matter if you can take lessons or not. I never yeah. was able to, so I just was around the campfire and learned chords. Joe can, you know, read music and, and stuff, but that stuff. It I didn't just, have lessons until two years ago on bass. I yeah, never that, that's, had lessons. that was another. You take yeah. the, and you still take bass lessons. I'm, you take, I am like now, Joe Walsh yeah. takes mm -hmm, guitar mm -hmm. lessons. You still take the yeah. take bass lessons. Yeah. That might be something. And if you I have need. a guitar at home that's, uh, you know, in a case, get it out of the case. Put it in a stand. Keep it out. Play it always. That's a good rule. That is a really Play good rule. Play with it. We are going to do a new slower song for you, quick here. And then, um, which one? Talk a little bit more. We're going to do too late. Oh, okay. per your request. Sunset and early night 
Nice. Finally pulls a bow out. Yeah. Love that thing. A sucker for that. Mix it up a little. I love it. I think it's always cool when you just watch. So There's some people that play every instrument. I'm not one of them. I play a couple things, but guitar is the main thing, but I barely play. You play spoons really well. <laughs> I play spoons well, and I play the drums okay. Yeah. I can hold the drums pretty good, but I do like my spoons. Some other people don't like the spoons, but I do like the spoons. But it's fun to just see when... when and when something else goes on that you don't know how to do and you don't know how to play, it's just a, you appreciate it. You appreciate it. It's pretty awesome. So we have um, time for a, like, um, our question segment, I think, for you that I have. It's, it's, it's going to be something that I kind of want to throw into the show that's called um, Either Or. Is, okay. is, is something I just kind of came up with. We didn't so, rehearse this on the No, way. so we have, so we have, everything's, yeah, just out the cuff. This is my idea of if you have... Um, 30 seconds on the clock. We're okay. have 30 seconds on the clock to answer these questions. But I need to... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, there we go. 30 seconds to answer these questions. Are you ready, Joe? I'm okay. ready. Either the Beatle or the Stones. Beatles. Either Please. a sauna or a hot tub. Sauna. Either red or black licorice. Oh, uh, black. Either east or west. West. <laughs> Cranberry juice or tang. Tang, please. <laughs> you got him right. You got him right. <laughs> yes. You guys, what do I you wear? You got a hobo t shirt, a hobo oh, okay. revival t shirt. I already have one. <laughs> Which you've already paid for? Yeah. <laughs> and it shrunk. No, and I'm kidding. Shrunk. I'm okay. kidding. Maybe I have shrink. to give you some <laughs> money back for that. No. So we um, are just happy to be here. We're super excited. Thank you for going along on this ride. We're thrilled that ICTV uh, came up with this great idea mm -hmm. and that we are able to be here hosting and playing some, sharing our music with you guys and excited for what's going to happen in the long run. So we have a couple more songs to close with here for you. And um, one is a newer song. 
and one is that older song. So the next one we're going to do is My True Love, and then we're going to close with Motel Santa Fe. And we'd like to bid you adieu, and thank you for tuning in, and we'll um, be back with more local musicians and super awesome talent. You're going to have some hometown people um, coming on the show, and then we're going to have people just spanning for through the 47 i feel bad for those people who are just down here you know if you're not in the 47 <laughs> sorry we're the lucky ones yeah. we endure really cold winters mm -hmm. so we we deserve it's like north and south korea kind of a deal it like is. The 48th parallel it, yeah. it is so we deserve a hot show <laughs> all right
All we need was a summer night and Motel Santa Fe. I never thought I wanted 